ahead here from beautiful Arizona. What we have here today, I know it's not Beretta, it's Taurus, Bose, but it could be Beretta. And for the technical stuff we are dealing here with, it's more important. I had to work with the material that was available. So initially, I wanted to modify a full size version, but I didn't have the heart to mess around with this beautiful gun. So I took the dull compact version. As you can see, there's no lock between the slide and the barrel anymore. Keep the barrel in the front position. You can keep the pull the slide back and when you have a look at the top slide you can see the locking block here and here and here actually there isn't anything anymore See this? Nothing in here anymore. So we got some ammo here. That is Turkish NATO Stana 4090. Federal aluminum stuff, the last ones I had. So just three of them in each magazine. just the white box stuff. So just randomly pick out of the box so there's no ammo specially made up for this test out of the box as you can see it. First reference weapon for ammo testing and then the modified one. one will hopefully get us some shells so that we can have a look at them afterwards. Just two. 
Bring you a bit closer. So. A little bit more smoky than the usual lock beach stuff, but I can't see any bulk areas. Is there NATO stuff? Yeah, NATO stuff. Looks great. So just a few more. And what I forgot last time, the barrel has the standard rifling. As it comes from the factory, there are no decompressors or other measures to drop the pressure level. And the cartridge chamber has no grooves, flutes, or whatever kind. There's an 18 pound uh, recoil spring in there compared to the 14 pound standard spring and uh, one or two other modifications I did to it.